You might know Audi's SUVs, the Q5 and the Q7, but you might not remember the all-road. Hi, I'm Marty Padgett for High Gear Media, and today we're going to be video road testing the 2013 Audi all-road. Now, given the choice between selling a station wagon and the all-road this year, Audi of America chose the all-road probably because of the success of the higher priced Subaru wagons and the fact that a lot of crossovers are now pushing the $40,000 barrier. The All Road starts at just under $40,000 and for that you get a lot of distinct cosmetic touches that separate it from the other wagons in the Audi lineup. For one, you get a different grille. On other versions of the A4 family, it's a horizontal grille. On this version, it's vertically trimmed. You also get some aluminum trim around the skid plates. There's underbody protection and there's also more aluminum trim down the side. Now the All-Road isn't just a cosmetic package, of course. It also gets a 1.5 inch lift to the suspension travel. It also has higher profile tires for all weather capability. Now, along with the new All-Road this year comes a new powertrain that it shares with the A4. It's a turbocharged four cylinder, a two liter with 211 horsepower. It's teamed up with an eight speed automatic transmission, a sport mode, and in this case, all wheel drive. Audi's refined the electric power steering that's on the All-Road it feels a little bit more progressive, a little bit more natural than in prior editions. The ride quality on the All Road is excellent. It's very flat in corners, very stable. It feels as good as any station wagon that Audi's produced in the past. The usual safety features are standard on the Audi All Road, and there are some features you might not see on other SUVs or crossovers. There's a rear view camera, rear parking sensors, also blind spot monitors this year are standard. Audi also offers a package called Audi Connect. It's basically 3G for your car that turns it into a rolling hotspot. That enables Google Maps to appear on the LCD screen. It also lets Google Street View to come onto the screen. You'll have a 3D view of what's ahead and what you're looking for through the navigation system. Like the other German brands, Audi has changed the way that it controls information in the car. In the all-road, there's MMI. It's Audi's multimedia information setup. Instead of using controls on the dash, you use a roller controller on the center console. Now, Audi Connect is an optional service, and if you choose it, you'll pay 25 to 30 extra dollars a month for the service. It'll connect your car to 3G. It'll also let you connect up to eight wireless devices to the car's internet connection, turning your car into a rolling wireless hotspot. Now, one of the major options that we think twice about with the Audi All Road is Drive Select. We like the base suspension and the base steering feel so much. Drive Select lets drivers tailor adjustable shocks, adjustable steering, transmission, and throttle responses. In other Audis, we found that it's difficult to find exactly the right spot and exactly the right settings to make us feel comfortable and to give the car a more sporty feel. We'd suggest just sticking with the standard setup. One of the advanced safety features that's new on the All Road this year is adaptive cruise control. Not only does it control the distance between you and the car ahead of you, it also activates the brakes. If adaptive cruise control senses that you're approaching too quickly, under 19 miles an hour, it'll bring the car to a complete stop. Now, even though it's based not on the larger A6, but the smaller A4, this All Road has a longer wheelbase than the old one, so it's got a little bit more back seat space. It also has a bigger cargo area. It's up to about 27.6 cubic feet, and it has a power tailgate option as well. So what's the bottom line with the 2013 Audi All Road? Well, we think it's a great choice for those who aren't quite ready to join the SUV movement. You don't have to sacrifice on-road capability for the chance that you'll encounter some all-weather needs. I'm Marty Padger for High Gear Media. Thanks for joining us.